Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, Skate on How You My Dear Learners. In this video, we are going to talk about a fantastic software called Zamovi, which will help us to do the meta analysis very easily. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, this software you can download Zamovi Desktop. If you go to the Zamovi Desktop, you will find out that there is a Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chrome OS. What we have to do, just download the latest version that recommended for most users. Once you download, you just have to install the install in your computer. Once it installed, it will look like this. So once the software is installed and the interface is already be there like this, you just have to go to the modules. Once you go to the modules, you will find that Zamovi library. Click the Zamovi library and from there you can type meta. For example, meta analysis so just type meta once you type meta then the library will pop up major meta analysis for zamovi and also meta umbrella review these are the two packages available for zamovi all you have to do just click the install in my computer i already installed this software so i do not have to install it again but for your case for the first time you just press install and it will automatically install in your computer. Once it is installed, the major software icon or the major library icon will be appear on the screen like this way. And meta umbrella icon also appear on the interface like this way. So what you have to do, you can always try with the sample data set to understand how it works. And also you will design your meta analysis data in order to analyze in the Zamovi. The best part of Zamovi is Zamovi can easily interpret the results that you already produce from the software. No software in the world which can analyze and interpret your results like Zamovi. I will share you how it works. So first of all, the data set of my meta-analysis. Here the authors list. You have to design the data set just like this. So first of all, in the column, number of authors or number of research articles 1 2 3 4 until 16 and then author's name then year of publication the number of observations in my case i am doing a fisher z correlation analysis the fx size is correlation value ri this is the correlation value is my fx size so this is the fx size values from collecting from the different pdfs and in my previous video, I shared one of the best way to collect the information is Google Notebook LM. If you go to the Google Notebook LM, it will ask you to create and you can upload your all the downloaded articles and ask one by one the data extraction for meta-analysis. I already have a video. You can check that video how to download and extract the data using Google Notebook LLM. I will give you the link in the description box. So, once you already share this design, download the, extract the correlation values, then controls, design, these are the optional variables or optional added indicators that I put. You don't need to have to, you don't need to use those things. It is just for the case for your subgroup meta-analysis purposes. But for us, these are the three important information that we need for our Zamovi analysis so what we can do we can go to the zamovi and you will see that there is an option called open okay so you can use data library or you can browse once you browse from your data set from the computer the zamovi will update the data inside the system so you can see all the data set are already in the system so from the zamovi as i told you my fx size is correlation values so i go to the major icon and you can see here in the drop down menu correlation coefficients dictonomous model fx sizes sampling variance and standard errors mean difference fx sizes proportions and reliability generalization so in this case i am choosing correlation coefficient this is my fx size correlation coefficient so what i have to do just put the correlation value in the correlation box and the sample size in the sample size box and the study level in the study level once you do it you can see how wonderfully the result come come out 
the estimation results and the p-value, the upper limit, lower limit, according to the random effect model. You can see random effect model and the heterogeneity test. As you know, in a meta-analysis, there are two results come out. One is the effect size variation, which is called the random effect model under variation of the effect sizes. And number two is the heterogeneity in the effect sizes. So these are the two important outcomes. In my previous video, I have discussed random effect, fixed effect, and different type of estimations. You can check those videos in my meta-analysis playlist. So now the wonderful part. This is the analysis and the results. As you can see here that the analysis was carried out using the Fisher Z transformation correlation coefficient as the outcome measures. And you can see that each and every in estimates or each and every outcome of the analysis are explained by the movie. What a wonderful way to get the result and the interpretation together from one piece of software. Isn't it good, right? So you can see that the forest plot also designed and the ex publication bias also designed for funnel plot and the most important part, the references are also added to your analysis. So all you have to do, you just have to read it and copy it and paste it and you put it in your word file and that will be sufficient for you. And the interesting part is the movie, the, all the results and outcome can be exported as a word, word file. For example, if you go to the export and you can see that the export can be exported the different type of export pdf the movie csv like this way you can easily export your results not only that but also all the results are can be editable using the zamovi software so it is a fantastic way to get the results and the interpretation together in one piece of software using zamovi so i hope this is a very interesting way to analyze your meta analysis data in Zamovi to get the results and the interpretation together very easily. Those who are interested to join my meta analysis course, I welcome you all for the next batch, which will be coming soon in February 1st. You can join my meta analysis course for basic to advanced, and also you can submit our journal, International Journal for Sustainability and Multidisciplinary Research, for May issue. This is a completely free journal indexed in Crossref, DOJ and also ISSN number and everything is there. So the first issue already published. If you are interested, you can submit your next article into this particular journal for fast review process. And you can join my course, the meta-analysis course, which is starting in February 1st, 2025, meta-analysis for basic to advanced. I hope. This video is useful for you and this Zamovi software will be more useful for you. And if you need any help, you can just comment in the comment description box in this video. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, my dear learners. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.